what's up people thanks as always for passing by the channel much appreciated hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel all right so i went to the public workout today for anthony joshua versus alexander povetkin it was at york hall in bethnal green so only a few minutes from my house so i thought like why not go down and check it out um decent decent public workout some of the fighters look pretty good pretty sharp david price looks sharp um obviously he's got a tough fight against the unbeaten russian sergey kuzman um, Luke Campbell looked very sharp, looked very, very sharp, looked fantastic. Even Mendy um, looked a bit lackadaisical, like he didn't want to be there. And I understand, look, if you're cutting weight, the last place you want to be is um, at a public workout shadow boxing for five minutes. But nonetheless, he didn't look as sharp as I thought or expected him to look. i tell you what's going to be fight of the night, and this is clearly going to be fight of the night. Akoli versus Askin. Um, I had some people around me, I'm not going to mention no names, that work for top, top channels, put it that way, and they all back Askin to win. A lot of them think that this might be a step up too far for Akoli. Um, as soon as those guys got in the ring, Askin looked powerful, Akoli looked fast and sharp, and obviously we know about his power already. And the main event, Povetkin, it's funny, I was sitting with Spencer Fearon, and um, Povetkin came out, and we said Povetkin just looks like Russian Mafia. Like, literally, him and his whole crew just look like Russian Mafia. I know it's the easy thing to say. I know a lot of people have said it before, but it's true. Seeing him that close, and I was literally that close to him, I can see this guy means business. He hasn't come to fuck about or get a paycheck. Um, he's not going to do what Joseph Parker did, which was, I don't know, take a selfie on an airplane and thank everyone for being here. No. Povetkin's coming to win. He looked sharp, looked strong, looked a bit smaller than I thought. I expected him to be a bit... I know he's not in the vein of these kind of new heavyweights, six foot six, six foot seven, but I expected him to be a bit bulkier, right? He didn't look as bulky, um, which raised eyebrows uh, for me anyway. AJ looked like a machine. He looked like a machine. I mean, I mean, it almost looked like the top he was wearing had been sprayed on. It was that ridiculous. Um, very disappointed though in his public workout. Um, he only literally worked out for about three minutes. Three minutes. I think most of the other guys done about five, six, seven minutes. I know that's only three or four minutes difference, but it does count, it means a lot. But when you consider that a lot of people queued up, I mean, I spoke to some fans that, and they said they'd been queuing up since 3.30. The public workout, or AJ didn't come out till like 7.15. So they had been queuing up for nearly four hours and AJ only worked out for a couple of minutes. So um, that was disappointing. Apart from that, it was good. Um, all the world's media were there. I've got some footage that I'm gonna roll for you guys now after this so you guys can watch it. Um, it isn't great, sorry, I, I was trying, but as you can imagine, even with accreditation, just to get close and get ringside, it was so packed it was difficult, but check it out. <laughs> 